Hi Gemini, welcome to your spirit guide messages for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, how to book a personal reading, social media, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you who those who have reached out for personal reading and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as an a tip or donation to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So thank you everybody to all your support. It really means a lot to me. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for being a part of the channel's growth and helping me to get these messages out to the people that need to hear them by liking the video, sharing, all that great stuff is greatly, greatly appreciated. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you, thank you. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have for you for November. This can be from whenever you see this from whenever. So I just um, put a date on all my videos so that people know in which order they were released. Otherwise, I do consider all my readings timeless on the channel. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know, Gemini, at this time. So happy fall, happy November. I did your reading last night, and then my camera, it was blank. So my camera didn't record it. I guess I didn't have enough memory on my camera. So I'm doing it all over again. So I don't know. We'll see what kind of messages we get this time. So Gemini, Gemini, take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. <clears throat> Gemini, what does spirit want Gemini to know at this time? Hope everybody's doing well. Did I say that already? Well, I'll say it again. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. I just got up not long ago, so I'm doing this before I go to work so I can get this reading done for you since it didn't record last night. Okay, so three cards for Gemini. That's two. I'm going to take that one. Now I'm curious to see if we get the same messages that we got last night. So I'll be pulling three oracle cards from each deck, and then I'll be clarifying with the tarot. <coughs> Sorry. So you don't want to watch the shuffling you can fast forward a little bit all right so wow boy do I have a scratchy throat I don't know if somebody needs to communicate something to somebody <coughs> okay Gemini messages for Gemini okay that was quick let me get three of these for Gemini, what does Spirit want Gemini to know at this time? What are the Spirit messages for Gemini at this time? What do they need to know, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Okay. Three messages from this deck. Gemini, Gemini, what does Gemini... No, I think we'll do it. These are so big, let me do it this way. What does Gemini need to know? Oh, that's two, three. Okay. Let's see what we have for you, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Spirituality and religion. So some of you may be connecting heavily, uh, if, or maybe you need to reconnect with your spirituality and religion. You know, having faith, hope, optimism, praying, meditating, uh, whatever you do here. But um, if you've been disconnected lately, maybe it's time to reconnect or just keep that faith and hope in your uh, spirituality and religion. Or some of you could be very spiritual or religion, religious. So we have health here. So there could be something uh, going on with your health. If you haven't been to the doctor in a while, you've been neglecting that. I mean, spirit wants you to know it's probably time to go get that checkup. And I just noticed here... Um, even though, you know, this is not a money symbol, it almost looks like a money single uh, symbol to me. So maybe some of you, your finances may be improving, your financial health may be improving um, also. Okay, this came out in your first reading that didn't record, so it's back. So this message is meant to be heard. So I felt with this imprison imprisonment or slavery, I don't feel anyone's going to prison or jail or anything like that. I feel like there's something that's been keeping you mentally trapped and blocked or you feel bound and stuck in some sort of situation that you feel you need change, you feel like you need to let go of it, but for some reason you're keeping yourself stuck. 
whether it's mentally with negative thoughts in your head or thinking you can't do something or just stuck in a situation. It could be a job. It could be a friend or a family situation. Something keeping you stuck and bound. So it could be it could be mental. It could be physical. It could be a job. It could be you don't like where you live. You feel like you're in prison or something like that. I'm going to clarify with tarot. So let's see what we have here. Share the message of love, daffodil. Rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. So you may need to be careful on how you speak to people and try to come from a loving, compassionate um, energy. We have past life healing, forget me not. The situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing into the present. So. If any of you have been wondering if there's been triggers or if there's been issues from your past lives, if you believe in that, that uh, hasn't been completely healed or it's affecting you in this life, then that's probably true. So you may want to um, try to do, you could go on YouTube, you could go anywhere and you can find uh, people that will do some meditation. There's meditation videos on trying to heal these situations or you can actually find someone that can help you heal like past life regression and all that kind of energy. And we have here, shield yourself, invoke protection to bring this situation to a speedy end. So something you're needing to protect yourself from a situation. Hmm. But you're needing, need, I don't know, maybe watching people, places, things around you, protecting yourself, keep your eyes open. Maybe someone around you is not trustworthy or maybe trying to deceive you in some way or something could be at, you know, anything, friend, family, coworker. So if you've had that energy around you, it's telling you to protect yourself or if you have a situation going on right now where you're needing to defend yourself, protect yourself, um, by doing that, you know, speaking up and protecting yourself, I don't know, it'll help it bring a speedy end. If that makes sense for some of you. So let's see what these have to say. Nine of Winter, Seal Line, your worries and fears aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you're afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. So this is an energy of um, not sleeping at night. Maybe that's right under the health here. So maybe, you know, some situation here you're stuck to, feel bound to. It could be anything here um, is affecting your health. Um, you know, the Nine of Winter is an energy of stress, anxiety, worry, uh, nervousness, not sleeping at night, something really dragging you down. It could be, you know, if you're not sleeping or you're not eating well or you're feeling depressed and nervous and anxious and all that kind of negative energy, it could be affecting your health here. And it could be something you feel stuck and bound to. So, wow. So now we've got the nine and ten of winter. Siberian husky dog, the end of a career path, project, or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears about these changes and trust that trust that a brighter future awaits. So this is a painful ending. Something coming to an end, tens are about ending. So you got nine and 10 in the same suit. Swords here, which is your energy. Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you're Gemini. So this is stress, anxiety, and worry, and then realizing, you know what? I feel trapped and bound to a situation. I need to end it. This 10 winter here is about ending, completion, done, something that you just need to end here. I feel like it's affecting your health. Um, so, and that could be where, you know, shield yourself, protecting yourself, protecting your health. And, you know, sharing your thoughts saying you know this is what's going on in a loving compassionate way as here you know it says to um, <clears throat> be mindful of each word that passes your lips so if there's something you need to confront here with somebody situation try to do it in a loving compassionate peaceful way and not like in a harsh way that may cause conflict so what do we have wow we got all swords here wow four of winter koala Thoroughly think through, think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer, and here that's with the spirituality and religion, will bring the answers you seek. So for a winter is about, um, you know, being re 
kind of reclusive, you know, retreating, um, rejuvenating, healing, thinking, contemplating, taking some time out for you, resting. So I feel like there's some sort of energy here, person, place, or thing that you feel bound, you feel stuck to. It's affecting your health. You have a lot of stress, worry, anxiety, fear, uh, nervousness. But Spirit wants you to know it's time to end that. Maybe time to end that situation and take some time for yourself by resting, rejuvenating, take care, taking care of yourself as with the health here. And maybe even a doctor's visit may help. And that's to shield yourself, protecting yourself, but doing it in a loving, compassionate, peaceful way. <clears throat> and some of you, you know, may be really depending on your faith, spirituality, um, there. And past life healing, I don't know, maybe there's something, uh, something in your past life that needs healing. You could get a past, I do offer past life readings, um, or you can find many talented readers who do offer past life readings. I don't do past life regression or healing, but there are uh, readers on YouTube who also provide that also. That's something you're interested in. Okay, so and it's funny because this deck here is the past life deck. So let's see. Let's see. What is the spirituality and religion about for Gemini? Spirit, please. Can we clarify Wow, okay. How many do we have here? We have two. So, wow, so we have the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords. So, you know, the High Priestess here is all about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, and being divinely connected. But the High Priestess doesn't say much. She's very quiet. So we have two energies here of being quiet and then an energy of, like, rushing forward. And sometimes can be in a reckless way. So, you know what? I think that's just a separate message. So I just wanted one and I got two. So I'm, I'm feeling, you know, what's your energy? You know, what's your energy? Don't do anything reckless or foolish. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing. Um, things meant to be, things going in a better direction. So, so I feel this is like manifestation, like being in that positive law of attraction energy like praying putting your uh dreams wishes manifestations out to the universe but you also have to do the work to get this wheel to turn so you know keep having that faith hope optimism praying um meditate whatever you do here and divine energy here will hear your prayers your thoughts and as long as you start to take action and doing what's best for you that wheel will start to turn and go in your direction you'll have better luck, fortune, uh, things just going in a better direction. So that's what I'm getting with that. And it may start here with releasing something here that's keeping you trapped and bound, that's affecting your health, taking time for yourself. The universe is going to say, okay, they're doing what's best for them. You know, I've been showing them they need to, you know, let this go and they haven't been. And now they're taking the steps to do that. You know, tell the universe, I'm ready to give this up. I'm ready to change. I'm going to take some time for me. I'm ready for my blessings to come in. And I'm ready for a change. Three of Cups. So we got health here. So Three of Cups, you know, I feel it's about, you know, taking time for you. Going out and having fun with friends and family. You know, concentrating on you. If you haven't been... Um, concentrating on yourself if you've been involved in something here that's keeping you stuck and bound whether it's a family or a friend issue or just working too much or whatever here and you haven't been able to go out and have some fun and rejoice and spend time with those you love friends or family or whatever here spirit wants you to know doing that can also improve your health your stress your worry your anxiety okay so what is this imprisonment or slavery about for Gemini justice wow yep <laughs> wow I mean some of you could have a family member or somebody who maybe is in jail or prison but maybe getting out with the justice card here justice will be served or if you're in a situation 
Maybe you're uh, involved with something, a court case or something in the court system here, that justice will be in your favor. There will be balance, there'll be truth, clarity, justice will be served. So that's a good energy there. All right, so. All right, so let's see. So you will be, either somebody will be getting out of a situation <clears throat> or you will, you know, justice will be served in a situation, whatever that means for you. So what is this share the uh, message of love about? What's your thoughts? What's the words you say? Um, you do have love within you. And everyone can benefit from that energy. So being in a peaceful, compassionate, loving place and uh, speaking what you say. So this is a four of cups energy. So this is about feeling, you know, it's about feeling bored, complacent, blah. This is my blah card. Just feeling very, very blah. Like um, four of cups energy is like, nothing's coming in, nothing's going out, I'm not accepting, I'm not giving, I'm just kind of bored and complacent and the. But uh, there is love around you. Share this. Somebody may be wanting a share. This is also about, it can be about love. Maybe there's somebody you're interested in and you're debating whether or not to uh, send out a message of love or an offer or something like that. Because usually the Four of Cups depicts somebody sitting under a tree and looking very bored and there's a couple of love behind them coming down from the skies from you know the divine energy so this says share the message of love so if you're wondering should i reach out to somebody and offer them hey let's you know i like you can we go out or something i think this is telling you to do that because this does say share the message of love so if you're wondering if you should share your cup with somebody spirit's telling you to go for it all right, so let's see what past life healing is about. Past life healing. What is this past life healing about for Gemini? So we have the King of Wands. So this is an energy of being very passionate, go-getter kind of energy, a lot of ideas, um, creative energy. They go after what they want, a lot of passion, drive, ambition. They're a go-getter, they're successful. So there may be something from your past life that needs total, total healing that you're not aware of. And it may be preventing you from really moving forward and following your dreams and living life to the fullest. It may be holding you back in some way and you're not even realizing it. You know, you may be thinking, you know, why is my life not going right? Why is this happening, that happening? Um, if you strongly feel like there's something connected to a past life, there's something there that probably needs to be healed so that you can be in this King of Wands energy, that go-getter energy, living, you know, having that zest for life, passion for life, and just going for it kind of energy and being successful. All right, so shield yourself, protecting yourself. So something, some sort of situation, and I feel like it has to do with something over here, but we'll see. What is the shield yourself about here for Gemini? What is that about for Gemini, please? Thank you so much. So we have the Six of Cups. So this could have to do with something from your childhood. Again, with past life, the Six of Cups is about past lives. So, and it's right near the past life card. So there may be something um, you need to learn from your past life and heal from so that you can protect yourself from that energy moving forward. Six of Cups is also about memories, uh, things from your childhood. Um, unless there's an, a situation from your childhood you need to protect yourself from. It could be something with uh, family, friends, or something from your childhood that, or a past life you need to really protect yourself from, whatever that means for you. So if you've been wondering, should I protect myself somebody or maybe even block somebody from my past, my childhood? Um, Spirit wants you to know that you should probably do that. <sighs> okay, so what is the stress anxiety about with the Nine of Winter? What is this stress anxiety about with the Nine of Winter for Gemini? We got the Four of Swords. So now we have the Four of Swords twice. The Four of Swords didn't come out on the Four of Swords, but it's here twice. 
So the Nine of Swords here is telling you that you indeed do need to rest, recuperate, rejuvenate, heal, mend, think, contemplate over the stress and anxiety that is not serving you. You need to take time for yourself. Time for yourself. There's something here that you're stuck to that's keeping you, it's affecting your health, it's affecting your sleep, it's affecting your um, overall well-being, it's affecting your life, your happiness. Okay, what is the Ten of Winter? The Seven of Cups. So yeah, feeling kind of confused, Seven of Cups energy, you know, feeling confused and um, looking at your options, needing to make decisions and not sure what to do. <clears throat> about this something that you need to end it's like spirit has the lead here and has it like right there to give it to you to say okay this is the way to end this and you're just kind of confused like i don't know what to do i don't know what to say i don't know how to do this you know very confused energy but spirit wants you to know that it's probably time to end this situation as confusing as it may seem all right, so what is this four of winter about? What is this four? It's way too many. Like this one. Wow, the emperor. So this is taking control, taking the lead, taking charge, taking back charge of your life, taking back charge of your life, taking the lead and doing what's best for you, taking time for yourself. Resting, rejuvenating, thinking, contemplating, making these decisions that you need to make to cut something out here that is really affecting you. Wow. Wow, a lot of messages here, Gemini. So I'm going to go over the bottom of the deck, but before I do, Gemini, if you do like my style, how I read, if this resonates for you, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love to read the comments. Um, if you subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. A, I do a spirit messages reading, what you need to know from your spirit guides. I do a singles reading if you're single who's coming towards you. I do a love connection reading um, if you have a connection with somebody. And I do a general tarot forecast, which is a general reading for the month. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what's at the bottom here. So now we have the Seven of Swords. So this is an energy of, it's almost like, needing to sneak away, get away from something. It can be deceitful energy. It can be like a liar cheater kind of energy. But maybe you, if I feel like you, I feel like that you feel if you kind of, maybe it's like, I almost feel like I need to sneak away from this situation. But if I do, I feel like I'm lying and deceiving the people around me sort of energy with the seven of swords. But you see this big sword in the middle here, which like, sticks out to me like the ace of swords which is about truth clarity um clear communication cutting away things no longer serving you standing up for yourself telling it like it is clear communication so i feel like and you have the three swords and three swords which is six swords here which could be something from your past family friend whatever here something from your past that you need clarity on like i said so the chariot, so here's, you know, moving forward with drive, ambition, um, passion, balance, energy, just moving forward and doing what's best for you. And okay, <laughs> so that's why spirit had me say this. So now here is the ace of swords clarifying what I had just said. Truth, clarity, uh, clear communication, a new beginning based on that clear communication and truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, telling it like it is and standing up for yourself divine energy here bringing you that clarity so that you can have stability back into your home life this is home life stability in the home life in your commitment in your marriage if you're in a committed relationship in a marriage or even if you're just alone just as being very stable oh this is the six of wands sorry i thought it was the four but still it's about success victory celebration ceremonies doesn't have to be but success and victory here leading to your success and victory Page of Swords, so there again, communication, telling it like it is, clear-cut communication, standing up for yourself, cutting away things no longer serving you. You could be keeping tabs on somebody online, but I'm not really getting that energy or doing some sort of research online or learning something online or something like that also for some of you. 
But then again, now moving forward with that drive. So we got the knight and the king moving forward with that drive, ambition, go-getter, passion for life, doing what you want to do, living your life to the fullest on how you want to live it. So, yep. Communication, cutting away, success and victory. Here's the truth and clarity to the new beginning. <clears throat> Seven of Swords there, you know, being truthful with something from your past, I feel. Even though you feel like you may be um, decept deceiving people around you, but you need to move forward and do what's best for you. Wow, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. I hope that resonated for you. If you did, if it did, please do like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. And best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.